Okay, here's a little update on the fruit trees that I pruned. If you remember back in the late winter, I cut these pretty hard. It's not the first time that I cut them, but we are mid-April now. I think it's actually April 20th. And they are all coming out. Look, look at all this apple tree here and each different variety of tree kind of blooms at a different time and they don't come out all to at the same time but uh even where i cut it right there it's getting a new leaf and right there it, it actually will sprout even if i cut it here it's going to have a branch here branch there I cut this one way back here, but now there's a new one popping out there. So the tree is going to find a way to survive. Like now look at this branch. You would never guess that that's just a stick coming off. But a lot of the trees facing that way. And I need to leave this here. I need something over here to balance out the tree. And I cut this back pretty hard. And uh, look at the ends here. Look how it's all coming out. Of course, these two pieces were already here, but, but even right here. One, two, three, four. One right next to a cut right here. So it's going to find, there's some sprouting out here, under here. So it's going to find a way to branch out. But that's why you prune them. Now look at this one. Look how pretty this thing is. Wow. Look at all the flowers coming out on this thing. Jeez. Just flowers everywhere. It hey, would a nice shaped tree. It's almost like an umbrella perfect and the pear trees all the white flowers on them the leaves are actually out on this and I sprayed this with the dormant spray and the copper spray and all that stuff and this tree is doing so well and cutting these big branches off right here see if I could sneak in here cutting these two big main trunks coming up hasn't phased it the other one here this one's doing good too this is just going to be such a nice tree to pick all this fruit this is all going to be pears it's all pears look at this look how these branches just come down like this wow look at that wow this is going to be great and in my newest edition i don't even think i filmed this but they had a special sale going on the nursery online and I picked up three cherry trees I planted one here for the house these are this is a self-pollinating kind so I don't need to have a second a second cherry tree it's a uh, kind of a stark Montmorency pie cherry or a stark pie cherry and it's a little bit slow I mean it just got put in the ground so a little bit slow opening up but it's living Got it caged off nice. Check out the bees on it. These are like some kind of, I guess, native bee. Little tiny ones. All over the apple tree. All right, we're at the at the end of May, and let's take a look at these trees and see how they're doing. This is our mixed apple tree. And you can see we actually are going to get some apples on this one. We're going to have to really taste these year, this year to see what see what they really are because I don't I don't know what kind they are. I have no idea, no tag on it or anything. But that's going to be apples here. Look down here, all just starting. 
And I think uh, this is this might be a gala or a pink lady. And I walked around this a minute ago, and I could not find one apple. This had just the prettiest blossoms all over it. And I cannot find anything on this. Not one apple this year. I'm not sure if I didn't get the right pollinator for this tree. Because it always seems to be not as good as the other ones. But look how it leafed out though. I mean, just just perfect. The way it was pruned is, is perfect. You can walk around this thing and pick these apples. But not on this one, because there's no apples on this one. Here's our Granny Smith. Let's see how this is doing. Uh, first, as soon as I looked over, this is this is good. We are going to have some Granny Smith apples everywhere. And now last year, this didn't have any. So the trees are taking their turn. Look at this. Look at all these apples. Look at that. It's loaded. This tree is loaded with apples this year. And it's still, it's still blossoming. There's going to be apples on it pretty much every branch on this one that's good now this one is either a gale of pink lady I'm not sure if it's this one or that one but this sucker's got so many apples on it oh my gosh this we're gonna to have to make some apple pie some apple cider some apple juice there are just so many apples every branch Literally, literally, there's so many. There's so many on here. Hopefully they all develop. I mean, there's so many on here that might actually hinder it, but wow. And it's still got some blossoms here. So this tree's doing good. How about the pear tree? Now these are two different kind of pears. We've got a moon, glare, moon glow and then I think a stark supreme, which is like their house blend. Let's take a look at this one. I don't know which one's which. I should have marked them years ago, but didn't. Probably threw out the tag as soon as I planted it. All right, so we got some here. We got some uh, pears here. It's three so far. Pretty, pretty thin here on that on the pears. Not too many on this one. And I think this tree last year kind of did okay enough to, to eat oh if you look in there there there's some there are some pears here they're just for some reason they're hard to find these suckers you look close enough yeah see i walked right past these they're in there not that many though oh, there's some more up here more up there and then the last one here do we have any in here yeah yeah see they're buried inside here we've got pears oh yeah wow oh yeah we're loaded we're loaded they're all inside the tree here up here there's more over here and here okay so that's looking good near the end of May and oh, how about the cherry tree I walked right past it I didn't expect this cherry tree to have anything on it but the leaves look well it's coming up good so it's just got to make it this winter and then next spring we'll see all right so everything's looking good update later on Well, we got to show the good, bad, and the ugly. It is September 1st, and the trees, the, the orchard here, the apples, pears, 
They started off really strong. I thought we were going to have such great fruit this year and turned out it was the opposite. The uh, the pollinators, the bees, there was everything was looking so good and and each tree had some fruit on it and the fruit really never developed and just started falling off the tree early. I think it was like maybe in beginning of July the fruit just started falling off and had spots on it and the trees are still okay. Leaves are falling now actually out of the trees but you can see all this vertical growth the stinking uh the japanese beetles i had to spray a couple times from the trees but it, it wasn't bad enough to where it should have affected the growth the fruit it just not even the not even the pear trees but normally do really well they only had a few pears that made it through and and they weren't like last year. Last year's pears were, look how, look how scrawny this cherry tree got. Terrible. It's been hot and dry. But last year's pears on these two trees were so nice. So that's the fruit trees. Very disappointing. And it goes to show that you can do everything to have such a great harvest and you just never know it's 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 when it's feast it's feast and when it's famine it's famine so if you really wanted to hold on to some of your fruit you you got to learn how to can or preserve your fruit okay so let's go on to the arbor day oak trees it's been oh jeez i don't know i should have looked first four or five years since i planted these oak trees and you can tell I've been cutting all the branches up nice and high because I mow around them and keep all the branches up high so you don't hit them and so the dogs don't pull them down and they they all look really good now so like this tree right here let me turn this way this tree is branched out pretty nice it's I guess that's 15 or 16 feet tall now and you can see every batch of uh, branches that grow off I kind of keep cutting up higher and higher and I guess this is about shoulder height and that's how big around it is there Th two different kinds they're all white oaks here but there's two different kind of white oaks that they sent me if you watched my other videos where are they at okay so like these how many are there there's four so one, two, three, and that big one right there are different than all the other ones. So these ones are the standard, I guess you would think of a white oak. And these actually, you know, it actually looks almost like a chestnut tree leaf, but just so much bigger. I mean, that's a huge leaf. It's crazy. This is the tallest tree. And I'll tell you, that thing is like 20 feet tall and down here at the base let's see i can't get my hand around it and the bark's toughening up it's getting uh nice and crispy on there the bark is toughening up almost enough to where i could take all the cages off because once it gets big enough the dogs won't want to bite it or try to rip it down Yeah, they all did pretty pretty good. And that's from the Arbor Day Foundation. I think I did lose a couple. You could see how I, I kind of started over there and made a triangle and it got bigger and bigger as it went this way. So I think, I can't remember, but I think I lo lost probably two there and maybe, it looks like maybe one here. Maybe I lost three out of a bunch, a dozen or so, I don't know. And then these back here that are still next to my T-posts these are the beech trees, which are these here. Beech trees have that nice smooth gray bark on it. Like they're the ones when you walk through the woods that people always carve their initials in it and the initials stay there forever. But when you, when you plant them here, they, they grow real big and bushy. Like look at that. 
it's crazy how big and bushy they get because there's no competition. I actually cut this this year, the beginning of this year, I cut this one out because this one was growing dead center in the middle of this one and it was killing the left side of that one, which you could tell, the right side of this one, and then this one was growing like very skinny and terrible looking, so I just chopped it down there. And then I had another beech tree that was growing right here. And it was a third of the size of those trees because it was really getting choked out here in the middle of the oak trees. It was choking out here on the oak tree. And then this big beech tree was just pushing it over into the oak tree. And I'd rather have a nice shaped oak tree than two trees messed up. So I... I cut that one too. I'll finish. I'll finish cutting it all the way off eventually. But this is just the grove of white oaks here that I planted. I planted all these actually. Even that. Even that big giant one. I I planted that. But this back corner of the yard is. I wanted it to be just a little grove of of trees like this. Just some place you don't have to keep mowing like crazy and. Somewhere nice and cool you can just walk through and keep, like, I, I got to cut all these branches off. But uh, keep all the branches up high so you can walk underneath of them. But the Arbor Day Foundation oak trees have all, I would say, doubled their size since last year. Well, the ones in the front have these other shaped ones. You could see, I guess you could really tell the difference on this angle. One two three and four are they're probably 10 foot taller than the normal looking white oak trees they really shot up